You must have seen many miracles in the world and heard their stories. But have you ever heard of an explosion in a plane flying in the sky which caused a hole in the floor and roof of the plane and still the plane landed safely and everyone survived? The story that we are going to tell you today in this video is no less than a miracle. So let's know how 369 people saw death closely and yet survived to tell the tale. Eight July two thousand eight, Hong Kong International Airport. Qantas airline flight thirty, which normally flies from London to Melbourne and stops at Hong Kong airport on the way. In the second phase of its flight, this plane was now preparing to fly from Hong Kong to Melbourne. Boeing seven four seven four three eight series. This plane was registered as VH OJK. That day, three pilots were present in this airplane. The airplane was being flown by 53-year-old Captain John Francis Bartels, who had 25 years of flying experience. Before joining Qantas Airlines, Captain John Francis Bartels had also worked for the Royal Australian Navy for seven years. Co-pilot Bernd Werninghaus and Paul Tabak were accompanying him on this flight. All of three pilots were highly trained and had proven experience flying the same kind of plane. It was a very busy flight, and on that day there were 350 passengers in the flight along with 19 crew members. At around 9 a.m., the Qantas flight started takeoff roll at the airport, and at around 9:22, this flight took off from Hong Kong airport to Melbourne. It was a normal takeoff and everything was going smoothly. The plane was flying at its normal cruising speed and there was no indication of any fault or technical issue. It was only 50 minutes into the flight then suddenly a loud bang was heard in the plane. Soon after the explosion, the air pressure dropped suddenly, and the oxygen mask started hanging in the passenger cabin. After the explosion, passengers and cabin crew noticed a huge hole in the floor of the plane and a similar hole in the wall outside the cargo deck. Seeing the open sky under their feet, passengers couldn't breathe. Everyone in the plane was panicked and started to pray for their life. Due to the low oxygen pressure in the cabin, the passengers were also having difficulty in breathing. By this time, the pilots were also informed by the cabin crew about the blast and hole in the airplane wall. and before the pilots could think of anything suddenly the autopilot system of the plane stopped and the plane started to shake very fast looking at this the first officer immediately tried to control the plane manually pilots also made an announcement in the passenger cabin and asked everyone to fasten their seat belts and calm down along with the failure of the autopilots Now the other systems of the plane also started failing slowly. Despite of all these sudden failures and warning messages, the pilots were trying their best to control the plane. But now more and more warning messages started to pop out from different sensors, which was creating more confusion for pilots and making it really difficult to handle. Even in this difficult situation the pilots kept their calm and started to handle the situation and control the plane more efficiently due to the hole in the plane at such a high height now passengers could breathe only with the help of oxygen mask although everyone had got oxygen mask in the plane but it was not possible to breathe for a long time with the help of oxygen mask because the oxygen cylinder of the plane has only 15 minutes of emergency oxygen 
Seeing this situation, the pilots decided that they have to reduce the altitude of the plane to 10,000 feet so that all the passengers could breathe without oxygen mask. To reduce the altitude of the plane, the pilots applied speed brakes, due to which the plane started coming down very fast. Although the pilots were trying their best to save the plane from crashing, but they know very well that it is very difficult for the plane to survive in this situation. So, while on one hand the pilots were trying to reduce the height of the plane to 10,000 feet, on the other hand, they called made it to the traffic control tower, which meant that the plane could crash any time and everyone on board may lost their lives. But it is said that one who is guarded by God cannot be killed by anyone. So till now even the pilots did not know what miracle was written for them in their destiny. The pilots know very well that in this situation the plane could not be able to fly for so long. So they had to land the plane at an airport as soon as possible. Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport was the closest to the plane's location at that time and the pilots decided to land the plane at the same airport. This airport of Manila was now the last ray of hope for the pilots. There was still a lot of fuel left in the plane, due to which the weight of the plane was too much. If the plane had landed with this weight, there was a danger of crashing on its runway and the plane could have caught fire and everyone could have died. That's why the pilots decided to throw the extra fuel present in the plane in the air itself, so that when the plane lands, its weight could be reduced. Heading towards the Manila airport, the pilot saw a lot of warning signals in the cockpits. Anything could happen at any time. But even in these difficult situations, the pilot did not give up and tried their best to control the plane. Following the radar signals received by Manila's air traffic control, the Qantas flight was moving towards the airport and everyone was hoping that somehow the plane would land at this airport. And after this, a miracle happened, which no one would have ever expected. The pilots got the plane safely landed at Manila Airport. And saved the lives of all the passengers present in the plane along with the cabin crew. But the story doesn't end here. How did this explosion happen? The answer to this question was yet to be found. To find answers to all these questions, the Australian Transport Safety Bureau sent a special team to Manila Airport to inspect the aircraft. In its preliminary investigation, the investigation team found that there was a hole about 2.01 meters wide and 1.52 meters high under the wing in the left side of the plane due to which a large part of the plane's floor and roof have been broken apart from the plane. Slowly, a lot of other information also started coming out. After two years of investigation, the Australian Transport Safety Bureau submitted its report and said that blast was caused by one of the cylinders which were kept on the plane for emergency by the operating system of the Qantas flight. Because expect that one cylinder, all the other cylinders were at their place. During the investigation, only one valve of the cylinder was found, due to which it is very difficult to find out why and how the blast happened in that cylinder. During the investigation, the Qantas flight remained at Manila Airport for a long time. After some necessary repairs, the plane was taken to Australia on 10 November 2008. 
where the plane was brought back into service after some minor repairs were done. But on 18 November 2008, this aircraft again collided with another aircraft and had to be repaired again. When this aircraft came back to service on January 15, 2009, the authorities had understood that now this aircraft is of no use. And finally, this plane was retired at the end of 2009. If you liked our video, please encourage us by clicking on like and subscribe button. We are really grateful to you for your kind cooperation. Thanks a lot.